Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to all things hockey. And today we have another mail day. It feels like it was so long since our last one. <laughs> I'm very excited. We've got one, two, three Instagram trades and two eBay purchases. Uh, I know what's in one of the eBay purchases. But I don't know what's in the other. So we're going to start with the one that I do know. We'll grab our handy knife if it'll be free. There we go. So starting with the one that I am sure of, uh, I I didn't underpay too much, but I didn't overpay. I have a, a buddy who actually got this for a decent bit cheaper than me, but that's okay. I still got it for cheaper than it usually goes for, and that is... All that I care about. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest young gun to the Capitals collection. Bang. Braden Holtby. Look at that beauty right there. Funny enough, I'm wearing my Holtby shirt right now, but being that he was on the Capitals, that is from 09 010, he was just traded. This previous season, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Vitek Vanacek and Ilya Samsonov are killing it right now, and you got Vitek right up there. So, Braden Holtby, I snagged this for, I think, $18 around there, give or take. Either way, cheaper than he usually goes for, and very happy to have a Holtby Young Guns in my collection. You know, I'm sure that off the trade... Um, he lost a good bit of value, so very stoked to get that for a cheap price, per se. Next up, you got a superhero. Very excited to do the jersey, uh, I guess you could call it collection. I'm going to split it up into two, possibly three videos, so that it doesn't take too long. Jeez. Jeez. Because they will be very long videos if I don't split it up. They really like superheroes. Either way. I paid a whole dollar for this. And I got two cards in sleeves. Look at that. Paid a whole dollar free shipping for an Alex Tuck Silver Scripts. Just saw it on auction and I figured for a whole dollar, you know. Not going to complain about a dollar for an Alex Tuck card considering it is a PC of mine. And it is just a silver script, but why not? Like I said, one whole dollar. So that's very pretty. It's a nice looking card and two sleeved cards, which I find kind of funny. But moving on to Instagram, we are going to start off with the one and only PS cards. Platinum sports cards. I very much appreciate the trades that me and him do. You see him pop up on this channel quite frequently. And... He did mention that he sent me some base cards, so that's nice of him. Some nice capitals, and looks like some knights. I see Cody Glass back there. So, we shall pop these out, and we will move those over there, and we will go through the base cards. We got ourselves Backstrom, Wilson, Ponick, who is no longer with us. Verano, who's no longer with us, I'm going to cry. Michael Kempney, Carl Hagelin, moving on to the beautiful man, Cody Glass. Robin Leonard, who is growing on me. Patchy Boy, Stevenson, another beautiful man. Ryan Reeves, Marc-Andre Fleury, Shea Theodore. Lots of beautiful men in that stack right there, I do have to say. So I appreciate that, Paul. Um, I love base cards when they're for my team. And, as for the cards we traded for, actually I'm not going to bother, number one, Patty Kane All-Star Weekend. I just, I love what's going on here. Um, you got a piece of a jersey and the piece of the banner. I'm not a huge Hawks fan, but Patty Kane, I mean, you can't hate the man. He's way too good at what he does. So, saw that, had to snag that. 
pretty good uh pretty good trade right there and we have one more card from that trade and it's going to be another very nice card and that is a kevin shattenkirk Ooh. signature materials so you got yourselves a nice two color patch a nice on card auto and it is numbered 59 out of 99 kind of hard to see but from the cup I've said in previous videos, the cup is probably, I mean, I would hope that it's one of the nicest looking sets, considering the price. It's like $1,000 for a box, which is crazy. But right next to Premier, this is definitely one of the nicest sets. So thank you again, Paul. I much appreciate the trades we do and to many more. Check out his Instagram page, ps.cards with a Z. I know he will appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much. Moving on, we've got BergyCards.684. Another friend who I have done many deals with. I'm getting better at putting their names in here to give them credit. And it looks like we've got some baseball in there, oddly enough. So... I am not a baseball fan, so I'm going to set these aside. If anybody here is a baseball fan, let me know, and I've got a stack that I will send you. So, much appreciated for these extra baseball cards that will go to a lucky fan if you would like them. And moving on to the trade itself, we've got... Surprisingly, another Kevin Shattenkirk. That was not on purpose. But that is numbered 45 out of 50, a seismic gold. And I just liked the way it looked. Figured uh, he wanted he wanted a card. I think it was one or two cards. And thought it looked cool. Figured I could probably trade it. If not, you know, it's still a cool looking card. We'll put that in the collection. and Won't complain about that. I've definitely got to open some OPG Platinum considering the aesthetic of these cards, but... Either way, the other card is a player who I don't care much for, but it is a one-of-one -one printing plate. So, pretty cool. You got Ian LaPierre. La, La, La per, per, you know what? I'm pretty sure it's LaPierre, but I could be completely wrong. La Perrier. La Perrier. You know what? You're just probably laughing at me while I'm struggling trying to do this, but... Either way, Upper Deck Series 2 from 0809, and that is a one-of-one. One. I really want to start collecting these printing plates because I just think that they're really cool. So, either way, super solid trade from Bergie. Go check them out. Very, very nice friend to work with. So, trade number two. And moving on to the one and only Lil Duca 36. I'm pretty sure... That's how it's pronounced. I can't imagine that there's any other way, but I could always be wrong. He has been on here, I think, two or three times before. So, yet another trade with the man himself. We got some cards for the PC. Some cards for the roster set. With the recent trades that have happened. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show the... The best out of the bunch last, or at least the one that I think is the best out of the bunch. So here is a player who I've been trying to get for a minute, Tomas Yurko. He has been on the list for a while, and I just couldn't decide on what I wanted to go with. But Duca came up clutch and had a few cards for the PC, considering he is a Red Wings fan. He's got a few of these in his collection, and it just so happens that I think three of the current players that I need are from the Red Wings. So, Tomas Yurko, that is rookie gear from Titanium. So that's pretty nice. Moving on, we've got a choice rookies of TJ Oshie. I think I might actually have this, but with TJ Oshie, you know, you can't have too many rookie cards. So that's pretty neat. Another player that I needed... Matthias Janmark for the Knights, I'm pretty sure is where he went. So he had a Young Guns canvas, and canvas cards are just super cool. I just, I love them for obvious reasons. They're just cooler than normal Young Guns. So I needed that. Snagged it. Definitely good part of that deal. Moving on, 
we've got a Tom Wilson, as you can see. Tom Wilson, Rookie Gems from Black Diamond. And I guess you could call it a, a three diamond, but uh, there's no actual diamonds in it. Either way, it's a really cool looking rookie card. I love, you know, how, how he pops out compared to the silver. It's almost like a 3D effect. So super cool looking card right there. Moving on. We've got a Nicholas Backstrom star from Artifacts, numbered 958 out of 999 from 1112 Artifacts. I actually haven't seen anything from this year, so this is actually a pretty interesting looking card. It's almost like, like a granite effect, so really like that. Ooh, Dmitry Orlov. I don't have too much for him yet. That is numbered 305 out of 699, and that is just a normal uh, numbered card from Artifacts, also 1112. That's pretty cool. It's like 1112 must have been a good year for Artifacts. Let's say that much. Moving on, we've got a Shining Stars of Evgeny Kuznetsov. I don't remember some of these being in the deal, so if these are extras, I appreciate you, my man. So that is. A really sick koozie card. I have a buddy who might enjoy that. You know, me being a Caps fan, I do have some other Caps fan, Cap friends who like the Capitals, and I have a, a specific friend who collects Kuznetsov. So, ooh, all rookie team Backstrom. I forgot about that. That's really sick. OPG 0708 selection all rookie team. So that is technically a rookie card for Backstrom. That's pretty neat. Ooh, another Braden Holtby rookie. Marquee rookie. Look at look at that face. Look at that face. Oh. That is 0910. Marquee rookie. OPG. Braden Holtby. That's beautiful. Such a cutie. Alright. Last two. This one, I didn't even realize how good this one was. The, uh, I didn't realize that it was like a die cut like this, but another Matthias Janmark, numbered 328 out of 499, and that is a Contours Rookies, when he was on the Stars, and that is 1516 Upper Deck Contours, I've never heard of that if I'm being completely honest, I've seen quite a few different sets and I've never heard of Contours, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out, Can oh jeez considering how cool that looks so if that's like the point of the set that they're all like you know different shapes and contours and i'm gonna have to get on that and the final card and one of the main reasons that we did this trade other than uh yanmark a very nice patch auto of anthony mantha numbered 35 out of 99 that is a signature materials and i'm not even going to try to say that word <laughs> i'll give it a shot at like lorets or something i don't know french i i can never but that is hard signed there is no sticker anthony mantha from the red wings Ooh, it's got an nba player of the day <laughs> panini's <laughs> um top loader that's funny but that right there was the main reasoning he had a few autos but i wanted something good not that what he offered wasn't good but they were um i don't have any on hand but heroes and prospects kind of deal those autos and while they are cool i think something like this suits the collection much better considering the trade that occurred between the capitals and the red wings still very upset but I, I traded all my Verona cards except for the Future Watch because I know that that Future Watch is going to skyrocket since he's killing it on the Red Wings. So super happy with that. So thank you so much, Lil Duca36. I really appreciate all the trades that we did and the uh, purchases that I had come in today. So thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful mail day. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. I know about 50%, if not more, aren't subscribed oddly enough considering how small the channel is but do that by the time this uploads the 
giveaway is going to be on the way. I'm going to order a box of cards tomorrow, which will be yesterday when I upload this video, oddly enough. But again, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.